Special delivery, good morning. And if you saw yesterday's video, you know we're giving away the Civic Si, and this is the same day that we made the video. After the video was done being filmed and edited, something showed up for the Civic Si. So, links in the description, TommyFA.com. Get in for your chance to win the 1995 Civic Si with the B16 swap, ITR wheels, ITR seats, ITR 5 lug, all refreshed, and this thing is gorgeous. But let's look at what came in. So Josh, do the honors with that Razor. Yeah, this is probably the dumbest thing I've ever bought. There's a lot of fucking wrap on this. Yeah, yeah they want to keep that shit safe. I paid for extra packaging. We're gonna have to clean it up, I know, because it is the oldest relic. And it's a part that no one ever really takes care of. Right. Is that accurate to say? Most people throw it away. Most people throw it away. So yeah. we currently have a D series in our Civic while Josh gets that the rest of the way out. And this is what it looks like. Going to a B series, we obviously didn't want to do some AEM short RAM or cold air intake. So I sourced an SIR B16 air box, which I guess sits like this. So it's actually really similar. Oh yeah, that's the one. Bring it over here and we'll we'll see how it how it do. It looks so close it to looks the almost like the same. What if we could use the lid off that one, dude? Oh, I'm sure. It yeah. looks identical. The lid is the same. Is that an identical the piece? This is the same. This is the same. This even looks. This the is the same. I spent a lot of money on that. <laughs> it's it the same. CC two and this is CC one. Huh. Well, this is well, they're different manufacturers. Toyota Rookie, and that's semen. Oh man, I can't <laughs> use the semen one. <laughs> it looks like all of it these are like the same. The fucking same thing. It's fucking identical. <laughs> It's identical, and ours is way nicer. We'll see what happens when we put it in, but <laughs> just in case, we have it. What the fuck, Japan? I think, like, I was talking to people, too, and they're like, yeah, you need the SIR one. Probably because no one ever has the original SI airbox, so they're like, you're going to need the SIR one. Anyway, well, that came in, and if it's not good, the original one will work just fine. So, chalk that up to a dumb purchase. I didn't know. Didn't know if the mounting was different. Didn't know if the inlet size was different, but I guess it's not. Anyway, so we're keeping the, uh, the cleaner... I, that intake's mint that's in the car. If that works, if we're going to go. If you buy an SR airbox, links in the description. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I'll give it away to somebody who orders today. You can have the, the used one if it doesn't work. Anyway, so if you haven't ever your chance, TommyMphy.com. Let's get on with the video. This is when, this video is when the engine comes out and shit starts going down. So get excited. Engine out, bay stripped, bay painted, and we're going to try to remake the stickers that are found under the hood because we are gonna be painting the underside of the hood. So that sticker's beat, but this one, is that one accurate not being a B16? Or does uh, it not even matter? No, it's not accurate. Who cares though? But I mean, whatever. And then this one we'll make, we'll probably make that silver one. And then potentially this one, but I don't like this, it's Canada. It's a Cali emissions one. Oh, okay. So here we go, time to pull the Civic apart. So, I've been doing some other work. Josh's been grinding on the Civic and got a lot of stuff off. Nothing TJ's been maxing the paint. It's a little pinker, isn't it? The color you need? I'm trying to go off the best part of the car. I was doing it off the fender, so. Oh yeah, that actually looks really good. Yep. All right. So we got the spray out for the bay. 
Josh is uh, pulling the front end apart. Have you done the bitch pin yet, Josh? Not yet. You excited for that? Always. Underneath this thing looks fucking mint. Oops, need some dry ice blasting, but looks real We've good. Never had this in the air, have we? Nope. Nice. All the jack points look good. That's still undercoated. And Josh has confirmed that the airbags I purchased from Japan and shipped here quickly is identical to the one I already had. So thank goodness for that. So this engine should be out. I forgot to chime Josh because I was doing something else. Should be out today though. Right, Josh? Yeah, I mean, everything up top is done. I just oh. gotta do lower shit. Drain, I've just been draining fluids. Like I, I evac the AC properly with the machine. Oh, nice. That's yeah. sick. Yeah. I'd we never got to do that. Two drops of power steering fluid, and then that's just coolant. It's got pure Honda coolant in it, that blue shit. Wow. So everything up top, 100%. So all this stuff we don't have, right? We have to reuse this stuff? Yeah. So we'll, we'll, well, we'll sandblast it, powder coat it, this yep. too. So cool. We're going get to get to learn about Hondas, which is my favorite thing. Relearn. See what works. Yeah, relearn. See what works, what doesn't. been a long day but as you just saw Josh pulled the engine out of the Civic pulled a couple of the uh, accessories the front end is completely raped and pillaged and it's a lot dirtier than you, than we thought this is 85,000 miles of just road grime dust dirt we're getting close so now that the move and it's a lot harder than the skylines I think in this aspect is pulling everything out of the car so we can paint the bay we've got all these brake lines and Brake proportioning valve. They, is that the ABS? Somewhere's the ABS. I don't really know how this ABS system works, actually. There's a bunch of wires there. I don't know. But that's definitely the proportioning valve, I believe. Well, it's got some weird mechanical ABS I know nothing about. Uh, the rest has to come out. All this has to get stripped. We're going to leave the fenders on because we're going to paint in here. And we're not going to do the wheel wells because we have the fender liners. And they're going to stay on for the swap. So... Let's get to it.
Definitely. Guess appearance. Oh, hey, look who it is. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Funny Tommy comes out when the camera comes out. Wait, your Let's camera? No, your I'm camera. holding the camera. I know, this is when you get funny. This is what I watch the video. Nah, I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny today. Serious work, LZ. This is a Honda Civic. Now this thing's getting stripped. It's been stripped as you just saw in a bunch of silent B-roll. Everyone says they talk too much, so I was like, fuck it, hit him with that silent video. Hit him with that Charlie Chaplin, you know? And that's what we did. We're going to make it a roller so we can wash it and do stuff, but this bay is gonna be completely stripped and we're gonna paint it and we color match it perfectly. We're gonna reproduce all the stickers, like we said. LZ's gonna scrub this with his toothbrush. Got you. You got it? Do you find the air? Do you get the air for your for car? Toothbrush? Yeah. It runs off air. <laughs> You're like, Ooh. Air, um, So we don't want to kill the zinc that are on the brake lines, but the ends of the tube nuts look kind of gross. So we're going to take these off. Fair blast just the nuts. Blast them nuts. And we're going to powder coat the subframe. And just pretty it up. It's got a bunch of like little surface rusty things. It's ugly. And then this. Just like a GTR, we'll have Josh restore that. It's weird how they like stick out. It's like a fucking awning. Is that where like the spring is all yep. up in there? Yep, I forget that. Well, I got a set of conies on their way. Oh, yeah. They'll be here by Friday. Yeah. We'll be rocking in style. And this is what a Civic looks like blown apart. The little radiator's so cute. I know, and the AC. So Josh has been setting up the wiring harness. I don't know if the filmer showed that because I haven't seen the footage yet, but. He made the D-Series harness work on the B-Series, had to change a couple of things. Uh, we got the wrong timing belt, so that's my bad, but we got the new one tomorrow. And we're still waiting for a power steering pump with bracket, which I think I found within about an hour of here. I'm gonna see if Ben will grab it. Other than that, I think we're, I think we're good. You like that? What are you gonna do about the air intake temp? So what, what it is in this car and later cars is it goes in the boot. And we're not using all this weird stringy PCV shit that came with the D-Series, so we have a hole we can just pop that in. Oh, okay. And then this is the connector for it, which I'm going to have to change when I get the alternator one. Okay. So Wait, the, oh, you're going to get that from wiring specialties. So this is the same as K, and then we're going to just use a later air temp sensor. Cool. That'll be easy. Yep. So we're moving right along. Our goal today was just to get the engine out, the bay strip, so that tomorrow it can be sanded and painted. And we're right on schedule. This looks sick. 
We got rid of the, the EVAP paint, thing. Paint pens. Yep, and then these are the same flow rate as the OBD-1. So those are the D-series injectors. Yep. Should be exactly the same. 235s. So okay. Our Del Sol is 235. That engine's got a lot of history. You drove that car, didn't you? Matt Mormon's EM1? Yeah, but what it, type R swap? Right? No, that was what was originally there. So if you don't know and you're sleeping, we, we got the engine out of Matt Mormon's EM1. 26,000 original mileage. Have you seen a cleaner Honda engine before? Did you get a good deal on it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. I didn't buy it from Mormon. Oh, you didn't? No. I got a second hand. So Mormon, it was supposed to go with the winner. The winner didn't want it. Mormon sold it for cheap. A dude I know picked it up and then we paid market value for it. And this is, you didn't touch anything on it yet? Are you just gonna leave it? Like, there's yeah, we're just gonna leave it. Josh swapped the harness and stuff. There's no reason to. We're gonna do the time belt and stuff because of age. This engine setup when I was younger was about eighteen hundred dollars. I paid six grand for this whole engine tranny, which I think is fine. That's really fair. Yeah. So Josh is swapping the guts from a uh, what is it from? Um, so this is a D16Z6. What it had OBD1, and this is the A2 OBD2. Everything inside is identical other than that, and you can't just pin swap it because of sizes. Oh. So I have to swap the TDC sensor in. So just this and this? Yep. That seems easy. That way, because a lot of people just either run one bolt, two bolts, or cut the ear off, which we're not doing that. Right. So, so we have to sacrifice two distributors to make one. Yeah, so all the internals of this will go into this one. That'll make it OBD-1. Righteous dick, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. So we've got the Type R wheels completely stripped with the sandblaster, and they actually look like they're in really good shape this is the first step before we repaint them championship white they were beat i don't know if anyone remembered i should have gotten it before but they're ready yeah they're in really good shape yeah i'm like those evil wheels you sold me <laughs> he just yeah. looks looks for an opportunity to fucking go in so did you uh powder coat those what's up did you powder coat them or paint them um I think I powder coated them, but I got a pretty good color. It was like the original sparkle. It's just you could see, you know, there were like little chips in the side of the wheels that you had filled with Bondo. No. Did somebody do that? I mean, it showed up once we sandblasted them. Really? Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I've never seen anyone actually Bondo a wheel. Well, I don't know that it's actually Bondo. But oh, but it's some kind whatever of Whatever it was, it came something. out when I got powder coated. Huh. Well, yeah. I got you it's good on that one. They look very similar to these. They ones. do. What are they? The, uh, these are ITR. Wheels? Those were the Tarmac. Yeah, yeah Tarmac 2s. So anyway, these are going to get repainted in the OEM Championship White. We're going to paint them. We're not going to powder coat them because they were painted from the factory. And the only way to really match it, I think, is going to be to paint it. So uh, that's what we're doing. Alrighty, so the bay is completely stripped. And TJ is now scrubbing it with a fine tooth comb. Uh, well, he hasn't started scrubbing yet, but here it is. Are we going to remove the brake lines? We are once we drop the subframe. Oh, okay. They're clipped in between it. Okay. So clean this, put it on the lift, drop subframe. Cool. Radical. And the bay is clean as you saw. So now uh, we've got to drop the subframe and get it prepped to go into the booth tomorrow. But I guess I'm gonna end the video there, right, Filmer? Yeah. Bay's stripped. Josh has pretty much got the engine dialed. We need a couple little more things for Wednesday or Thursday whenever the paint is dry. Uh, and we're good, right? Yeah, I just had to change the VTEC solenoid to the other because it calls for two switches versus one. Just a couple other weird things. You just pull it out of this? Yeah, I pull it apart. Cool. Pull it all out. Vapor on the bottom part. That looks sick. Yeah. Just to try and not make it look, this is not Vapor Home, but the side was. We could get spark plugs too, I, I keep forgetting. Yeah. Oh, we need a valve cover gasket. And wires. Oh, what happened to the wires? Didn't have any wires. Oh. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna end the video there. Thanks for watching. If you have any for your chance to win the Civic, links in the description. Our goal is to get this car to run very quickly because we're going to tail the dragon and we're driving it. So get stoked, enter for your chance to win. And anyone who enters between now and Saturday at midnight, I believe, or Sunday, with the pleasure of pack, enters themselves for the Maco tool cart. Bye.